Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and access a VPN in Windows 8.1. For this, we will need three things. One, configure the server, in this case Windows 8.1, for a VPN access. Configure the router to enable VPN throughout the router. And three, configure the client. So let's start with the first. Now, in Windows 8.1 desktop, press the Windows key plus W it'll bring up the search here type network and sharing center or you can go to control panel network and sharing center here click on change adapter settings link now here press the alt key in your keyboard to bring up additional menu now click on file and select new incoming connection from the drop down. Now, here, place a check mark to the user that is going to be connecting via the VPN. Miguel here is already pre selected in my case. And click on Next. How will people connect? Throughout the internet. Make sure to check mark that. Click Next. Here, leave everything default and click on allow access now make sure to write down the computer name because we're gonna need it in the future and close now if we go to um, change adapter settings here we'll notice a new incoming connection created now we have configured the first part now we need to configure the router which is the second part now press the Windows key plus R in your keyboard to open the run window. Here, type CMD and press OK. It'll open the command prompt. Here, type ipconfig and press enter. Now it will give you the IP address and the default gateway. We need both, so write them both down. The default gateway is to access your router. So open the browser and enter your gateway IP address. In my case, it's 192.168.1.1 and press enter. I'm using a Linksys router. And now enter the username and password of your router. Now, in my case, it's application and gaming. In your case, it would be probably port forwarding. And here type the following. PPTP and external port 1723 the same for internal port make sure the protocol is both and the IP address of the uh, Windows 8.1 in my case is 115 enable and save settings in other routers we would probably configure a pass-through additionally to what we did now we have completed the second part now let's configure the client I'm using a Windows 8 for my client it is the same for 8.1 So go to the desktop control panel network and sharing center now here set up a new connection or network connect to a workplace select it next Use my internet connection, VPN. Internet address, now we can type the WAN IP address or the LAN IP address. In this case, I'm using the LAN IP address. Now, you can put colon 1723 if you like. Remember my credentials and click on create. Now, it'll bring up this side window here. Click on VPN connection. Connect and enter the username and password of the user we enabled at the beginning to connect via VPN and click OK. Error 720. Why am I not surprised? Now, if the same happens to you, I'll show you how to fix it now in a second. This took me about two hours. Go back to the VPN server, Windows 8.1, Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center, change adapter settings link 
right click your newly created incoming connections properties networking tab select the internet protocol version whether it's 4 or 6 properties and here instead of assigning IP addresses automatically specify the IP address range in this case for all my VPN um, connections I'll assign 50 100 to 150 IP addresses click on OK OK again and now go back and reconnect throughout the uh, VPN so VPN connection again connect uh, username and password of the VPN user OK and now it worked properly perfect VPN connection connected if you see our newly created VPN here if we go now to the um, VPN server Windows 8.1 you'll notice one person connected one client connected and I'm connected via VPN now to access files and folders from that server from the client computer press the Windows key plus R and in the run window enter backslash backslash and the server name or IP address and click OK and you should have access to all that Windows 8.1 uh, file shared files and folders Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.